Amadeir Park, a place for ducks, and one or two famous faces. Welcome to the 2017 Amadeir Park Road Races, and this is Overdrive! In the heart of the South Wales Valleys, and less than half a mile from the centre of town, Aberdeer Park has been welcoming motorcycle racers since 1950. The challenging 0.9 mile circuit runs anti-clockwise around this picturesque Victorian park. And with both fast and winding sections is a real test for the riders and their machines. The bikes may have changed over the years, but the racing is as exciting and close as ever. Aberdeer Park Road Races, we got the crowds, and uh, I've also got Peter Hickman. Peter, Aberdeer Park Road Races, second year now, you enjoying it again? Yeah, absolutely, like you say, second year here, and it's good to see so many people about and uh, supporting the event. And of course, at the end of the day, with yourself, with John McGuinness, with uh, Steve Plater, then obviously it's, uh, you know, a few, uh, a few names for the crowd. Yeah, absolutely. It's good for us. It's good for the crowd as well. You know, we've been doing loads of photos, lots of signing autographs, and even managing to sell some some merchandise. So everyone's happy. Uh, yeah, a bit of advertising. Why not? Okay. So uh, how's your season gone so far then? Really good, actually. Yeah, really strong in the British Superbike Championship. We're six in the championship at the minute, which is obviously the, the big thing with the showdown in British Superbike. So uh, that's been going really, really well for for me and the Smiths BMW Racing Team, and also TT five podiums out of five races. You know. Nothing the hell's more I can really say about that. It was absolutely an uh, awesome two weeks for myself, and uh, things have been been really strong. So uh, we've got a few more races. We've got the Ulster Grand Prix coming up, and uh, obviously a lot more British Superbike as well. So um, we're looking forward to the rest of the season. Okay, well, Peter Hickman, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Right, I've managed to catch up with Steve Plater, biker and general all-round child. And uh, so, Steve, Aberdeer Park Road Races, how have you found it so far? And don't tell me in a park. No, great, you know, you have an idea in your head how things are going to be, you know, you kind of visualise something when you get invited, of course, I've been in the area many times, I was here three weeks ago, uh, enduro riding with Dakar man Craig Bounds, but, um, you know, as far as the park goes, never actually been to Aberdeer or around the park, and you have this picture in your head, it's going to be this tarmac track going through some woods, trees and various things, but I didn't realise it's in the centre of town. But no, uh, a great, you know, a great event, you know, a good family event, shall we say. Um, I was lucky enough to get a ride around yesterday and experience the track as well. And in all fairness, good surface, not too rough, some good cambers, but uh, a, few, a few trees dotted around, and uh, but lots of uh, obviously overexcited spectators. Now, apparently, there's a record that um, you might still hold this 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 sector around the Isle of Man. Is that still on or or not? Yeah, you know, I tried to keep it quiet as I can, you know. When I left there in 2009, I had two sectors, uh, Ramsey Airpin to the bungalow and bungalow to Cockney Moan, and one of those is gone. Guy Martin beat it in 2015, but the other one's kind of pretty top secret, and I don't like to let anybody know. And as far as the secret, you're not going to tell us how you've done it or you've managed to keep it, really, is it? So, you know, it'll be just between ourselves, obviously. Just between us, you know, it's nine years old now. Um, you know, it's obviously half as old as I am, so it, uh, it's, it's getting on a bit, and hopefully it'll keep going for a while, yeah. Excellent. OK, well, when you get to uh, big school, you'll be just fine then, Steve. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. John McGuinness, third Aberdeer Park Road Races. How has it been for you this year? Yeah, it's been pretty cool, you know. It's, uh, I, I mean, little events like this have got to survive, you know, and, I, and if I can support these events and, uh, yeah, I, I, I just want to get involved, you know. It's, it's sort of... Yeah, it's international, but it's still quite grassroots as well, you know, with everybody in the field and riding around this park. I know it's a, it's a long history of Aberdeer. And as far as your own recovery now then, John, obviously you weren't expecting to be coming in like this, but I guess your fans, your supporters, and I've seen you with the fans, and you were swapping with one young lad who had his own injuries, and I guess that's really pushed you on and really encouraged you, hasn't it? 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, you need that sometimes. There's a couple of ways you can go about injuries. You know, you can sit at home and get grumpy and all fed up and bitter and twisted about it or get get yourself out there, you know. And, you know, I've had some heavy heavy surgery on my leg and uh, I brought my back actually in four places and brought five ribs as well. So the first sort of two or three weeks was, was pretty rough, to be fair. I wasn't uh, in much much good shape, to be fair. But uh, I actually went, made it to the TT. Probably shouldn't have been to the TT, but... You know, I got a stand innovation and a lot of cheers when I went onto the ferry at Ahitian, uh, which was quite emotional, really. You know, I mean, and a lot of people have said, come up to me and, you know, thank me for all the years of, of the racing and what they've seen me through me out of my career and stuff, which is quite humbling and, uh, you know, quite nice. So basically, John McGuinness is still moving forward and as passionate as ever. Yeah, absolutely. You know, passion for the bikes and, uh, and, and you know, like racing, I've been racing 28 years. I don't really know any different, you know. And, I, you know, I'll, I'll still do some form of riding, racing, I don't know, you know, I've not really said anything when I'm going to retire or, uh, but I won't walk away from the sport or the industry, you know, I'll definitely stay involved and if I do some parading or maybe some classic racing or maybe the electric bike TT, but I mean, everything's about, at the minute, it's focused on getting fit and strong again and then we'll make some decisions on what we want to do. I just wish I were 25, not 45, but uh, we can't help that, but uh, we've had a, you know, I'll be doing something. OK, well, the passion is clearly there, John, and uh, thank you very much again. Cheers, mate. Thank you. And that's Aberdeer Park wrapped up for 2017. See you next year.